Hi, my name is Lee Stoffer of Keith Lee Instruments, and I would like to introduce to you the latest measurement performance enhancements to the Model 4200 Parameter Analyzer. Our new Model 4225 Ultra Fast IV module integrates high speed voltage source capability with fast current and voltage measurements, all in the Model 4200 SCS easy to use test environment. To fully characterize any device or material or process, you need three fundamental measurement types. You need precision DCIV, such as Keithley provides with our SMUs. You need AC impedance, or CV, like we provide with our CVU. And you need pulsed IV, or transient IV, like the new Model 4225 Ultra Fast IV v module provides. Since the 4225 Ultra Fast IV module is integrated in the 4200 chassis using the same proven easy to use graphical user interface. This makes it as easy to use as traditional DC and CV testing. The 4225 PMU also has a wide dynamic range of voltage, current, and pulse width, making it suitable for a broad range of applications. Do you need to characterize submicron CMOS? for self-heating or reliability. This module is perfect for tests such as isothermal heating or NBTI reliability. Do you need to test flash memory or the new phase change memory? The new capabilities in the 4225 make it ideal for non-volatile memory technologies. By adding the new 4225 remote amplifier switch, you will have all the tools you need to test today's and tomorrow's technologies. The remote amplifier switch adds four additional low current ranges to the 4225 PMU, giving it capabilities down to tens of picoamps. The remote amplifier switch also does double duty as acting as a switch matrix, which allows you to switch between precision DCIV, CVU, or the new ultra fast IV all automatically. As always, Keithley protects your instrumentation investment by making the 4225 PMU backwards compatible with existing 4200 chassis. If you would like to know more, about how these latest upgrades to the 4200 SCS can make your job easier, faster, and more cost effective, just click the news release link at the end of this video.